Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, View She Talks. And today we are talking about a psychiatrist who says that Trump's speech patterns at debate were a cause of alarm. We have more details as to why uh, he said this. So let's get started. An expert psychiatrist is sounding the alarm in the wake of Donald Trump's bizarre presidential debate performance against Kamala Harris. Tuesday's presidential debate was, among other things, an excellent real-world test of the candidate's cognitive fitness, Richard A. Friedman, a psychiatry professor at Cornell Vale Medical College in New York, wrote for Atlantic, and any fair-minded mental health expert would be worried about Donald Trump's performance. As Friedman notes, Trump's repeated insistence that he is far more mentally well than his one-time nemesis, Joe Biden relied heavily on the kinds of mental status exams that are built to detect severe cognitive dysfunction and are, per the expert's assessment, quite easy to pass. Acknowledging that he is not offering any special, any specific medical diagnosis and has never examined Trump or Harris, the psychiatrist said that he watched the debate with keen attention on the candidate's vocabulary and logical coherence. While the 60-year-old vice president certainly exhibited some rigidity and repetition, his just judgment is that her performance seemed normal. The 78-year-old Trump's, on the other hand, was alarming. Much of the time, Friedman wrote, following Trump's train of thoughts was difficult or, if not, impossible. To be fair, this uh, has to an extent always been the case with this candidate. His rhetorical style has been considered unique by linguistic standards and transcribing his incoherent speeches has been extremely difficult since long before his current rival became his party's nominee. In response to moderator David Muir's question about his statements about January 6, 2021 insurrection, for instance, Trump rambles about bloodbath, Charlottesville, and the U.S.-Mexico border, taking his tried and true evasion techniques to dizzying and often confusing new heights. Circumstantial and tangential speech can indicate a fundamental problem with an underlying cognitive process such as logical and goal-oriented thinking, the psychiatrist explained. Did Trump realize that his answer was neither germane to the question nor logical? In the mental health world, this sort of repetition of concepts and terms is known as perseverance and it can be linked to a host of disorders ranging from Parkinson's to schizophrenia that may result in a lack of cognitive clarity, Friedman noted. If a patient presented to me with a verbal incoherence, tangential thinking, and repetitive speech that Trump now regularly demonstrates, the psychiatrist continued, I would almost certainly refer them to a rigorous neuropsychiatric evaluation to rule out any cognitive illness. While he can't diagnose Trump with anything because he is not his doctor, Friedman pointed out that for a man who's almost 80, dementia or Alzheimer's are not at all uncommon. That's all we have in today's video. Do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on this topic. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.